Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're out for a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to run Kenna Bridge of Spirits on a low end PC. That's right, for integrated graphics, we'll manage to try to get this game to run over 30 FPS at all times. I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. So right off the bat, I want to get a baseline for how the game will play. So I'm going to go back to the main area here. Right here is where we normally start up, where the FPS really tanks on the game. And as we can see, this is it. This is the baseline. Remember this. So we're getting 17 FPS in this spot. Now, the game does go up and down one, because this area is a big area with a lot of stuff going on. We are rendering the game at 720p on the lowest preset with the scaling down to 50%. Let's get into some, some tweaks to get this game to be playable on this system. Now, by the time I'm finished with this, this thing going to look like a damn slideshow. And I don't mean that in the funniest terms. It's going to look really bad. But hey, let's get into it. Alright, so we're simply going to go look for the Kenna Bridge of Spirits config file. You'll simply find it in your C folder, C users, whatever your name is here, app data, local, and it's going to be under Kenna. We're simply going to click into Kenna. Kenna is run on Unreal Engine 4, which is some of the most tweakable uh, configs I've ever found. I love using the Unreal Engine 4. And we're simply, we're going to look for the game user settings first, just to look and see what everything that's here. Now, you actually don't need to touch anything here because we've already dropped everything down to the bare minimum. The game, changing some of these settings actually does absolutely nothing. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the engine folder. We're going to scroll down. And I will leave this link in the description down below for you guys to copy and paste in as well. Well, the whole engine file. And we're going to paste in all of these here. Now, what these do is these push the system down to very low boundaries, far below what it actually can run at which means it'll look like crap but hey the game will run on the system so we're going to disable shadow the shadow quality to zero you can change these you don't need to use all of them but some of them do have a big performance hit on the game and will improve performance now we're going to simply save that real quick and get into some gameplay let's see what happens now as i said you can lower this or raise it up or don't even use some of these in there like reflection and light shaft we've disabled all of that just to make it you know so that if you have lower end systems the game will run better let's get back to the game and see what happened and we're back as you can see we have definitely lost a few things it was at 17 fps before it dropped up to 24 fps now keep in mind that's just this area this one spot because when you walk around we are actually getting over 30 FPS in game. The game is actually playing a lot smoother at this point in time. And we didn't have to lose everything of the quality. We didn't have to lose all the quality, but we definitely did take a hit. Somewhat of a hit. It isn't the worst, but it definitely is something. But we are getting over 30 FPS now in the game. And it is still playable. I would say that this is still, you know, it's not the worst thing that could possibly have happened. Just putting that out there. Obviously, the ad the actual cutscenes don't have any issue, but this works fine. Now we do have one more where I can drop down the resolution from 50% down to 30% and see how that does. But I believe this is fine. I would recommend this, the most part, because most areas are gonna run like this. You're going to see over 60 and 70 FPS at times, but it definitely has been a crazy increase in gameplay. What I would maintain, I would normally say though, you need to frame cap this to 30 if you have anything integrated graphics wise. This is running on the i4 540, which is normally stronger than a lot of the integrated graphics out there. So if this is struggling here, you, you definitely need to frame cap this to 30 and try, you know... Now we can lower the, lower the settings even more, but I won't go too far because people be like, Oh my gosh, my eyes, why even bother? But listen man, if you want to play the game, this is how you do it. Like I said, I'll go and adjust a few more things now and after that we'll end the video. Just to show you guys exactly if you if you really want to get it up to the bare minimum. Without losing the, the textures on the face. The first video I did for the Intel HD 4600, I lost a lot of texture with people's face and stuff. And it was weird, so we're going to try to avoid that this time around here. Let's go back one more time into the brink. 
Finally, we're back one last time just to do a little more tweaking in the game with the engine folder once again. Um, we're not going to really change anything else about the game here. Just going to change it to 0 0.2. And we're going to carry down the screen percentage down to 30%. So we're getting 30% of 720p. Keep in mind we are running at 720p. The render target pool, we're going to drop down to 100 bloom quality down to one and I think that's about it that's all we'll probably need to get the game to perform any you know somewhat decent I can drop down the lighting as well but like I said keep in mind when you do this you are losing a lot of lighting you're losing a lot of quality of the game but hey if you really want to play the game right if you really want to play the game I just did that for fun there's no reason to do that you, you disable shuttles altogether and we're gonna save and we're gonna launch back the game one last time to see what we can get out of it but basically that will be the end of it that is how you get the performance to play Kenna Bridge of Spirits on an integrated graphics a lot of stuff we need to do to really drop the performance down let's get back into it one more time and finally with the last tweak with everything down the game looks quite terrible, but we are getting about 30 FPS in that area. Like I said, it's just that area that looks that bad, but when you go into it, you're going to see that the game runs over 30 and 40 FPS most of the time. You're not going to get very many drops, but hey, can I bridge the spirit, guys? I somehow managed to get this game to run. You have to sacrifice everything to get it to run, but it runs. Sometimes you even manage to get over 70 FPS and it plays quite smooth to be honest with you. Like I said, you don't need to go this far because look, when you disable light, this is what happens. Every, there's no light so everything goes kind of bonkers. You don't need to disable everything in the game but you disable a lot to get it to work. You do what you must if you really want to play these gems man. We are seeming to get over, to keep around the 30 FPS for the most part. We will get additional occasional drops every once in a while, but the game seems to run nicely enough, I suppose. But I hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks, man. Don't forget, please leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you enjoy this type of content, leave a comment down below. Again, like to see me do another low end PC test on next. I'll get to it eventually, or probably next. I probably am looking for a game, so I probably will get to it. Now, I just need to find where the last one is at this point. I can't remember, I haven't played Ken in a while, and everything looks really blurry. <laughs> yet I can still see stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? It looks blurry, yet I can... Wait, I could have sworn I just heard. It looks blurry, yet I can still see a lot. I really don't remember where the last one is. I really don't remember. <laughs> Yikes. Did I just miss it back there or something? I feel like I don't even need it, to be honest. Nonetheless, move on. Maybe I do, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I knew it, I need another raw, I need the last raw. If only I remember where the raw was. Can I don't die, please? Look at that. Beautiful. Some years you'll get 60 FPS. This is what I do for you guys. I'm legitimately getting it. I'm legitimately getting a headache to be playing this. Oh! Was that it? Wow, you were right here from the start. You were right at the start, weren't you? Damn. So many times. I started the video here so many times and you were just at the start. Crazy. I go interrupt with no damn rock. These rocks playing with my life. This whole time I'm out here. But look at the smoothness of it. Like I said, it's different because we're not putting out so much. We're not dropping the resolution to the point that you can't even see the character's face. Like I said, you can increase that back. You don't necessarily need that to be like that. You don't need it to be like that. I just put it like that because reasons. We needed to get the game to run somewhat, right? But we are getting over 30 FPS on average. So use these tweaks as you will. I mean, there are probably some guys with low exit computers that I'll need to carry, drop this all the way down to 5%, which is insane. But <laughs> 
Extra RAM would have helped as well. This is running with 8GB of dual channel memory RAM. More would have probably helped as well, but... It's doing the best it can. Let's get into one little battle here and then we'll end the video, guys. But once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Always wanted to test out Kenna just to show you guys how Kenna would run. So let's see what happens when we get into combat. Is combat stable? Yes, it is. So combat will be player stable as well. It's not the worst, man. Somebody's even over 60 FPS. Like, dude, it's doing amazing. And the areas pop back and everything looks great again. Over 30 at all times, guys. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Get a bridge of spirits, guys. It runs.